Hey everyone, George from Elite Motorcars. Today we have a 1985 Cadillac Seville commemorative edition in front of us. This is the last year of the Bustleback Sevilles, and as this body style came to an end, Cadillac decided to produce the commemorative edition. The commemorative edition came through in two colors, white and Commodore blue, as you can see on this car, with white leather with navy blue trim. I absolutely love the two-tone interiors on the commemorative edition cars. They are absolutely stunning. And as you can see, as we go through the video here on this car, this car basically is a drivable restoration. She is cosmetically challenged, but she is all original. I don't think a panel on this car has ever been touched. And the best part about this whole car is it only has 53,000 original miles. Oh, and she's a commemorative edition. I know I already said that, but I had to throw it in again. Super, super rare car back when it was fairly new and even rarer today. Look at the lines of the bustle back on these cars. I don't know who thought of this, but it was so cool and unique back then. I remember when these cars came out in 1980, Cadillac was actually the first one to come out with the bustle back and then Chrysler and Lincoln actually followed. A lot of people get that mixed up, but Cadillac was the first one to offer the bustle back cars in 1980. And I remember as a kid growing up in 1986, my mother, 1986, my mother got a 1980 Cadillac Seville. It was two-tone burgundy, absolutely beautiful car. I'll never forget that one. The lines of these cars, with the beautiful stainless steel trim that runs down the side there. All the nice chrome. These cars rarely made a statement. Nice pinstripe there. The beautiful Cadillac traditional grill. Nice stand up hood ornament, which everybody has seemed to have done away with at this point. The nice thing about this particular Seville is this Seville is totally traditional. This is exactly how this car left the factory. A lot of them were dressed up and I love them dressed up. A lot of them came through with the carriage top, the Rolls Royce grill, the Continental kit on the trunk. But this car is just, I love this car because it's just totally traditional, untouched, just the way it left the factory. Beautiful car. Well, let's hop in or take her for a test drive. So as you can see, she has 53,824 miles. Let's hop in or take her for a little test drive here. It does have the uh, normal cracked dash pad. It does have the uh, very rare glass plastic windshield. I think 1985 was the only year it was offered. It wasn't a super popular option. Not quite sure what the um, use of it was, but um, I think they offered it to 86 or 1987 and then they got rid of it. Well, as usual, guys, please take a second to like and subscribe to our channel. We would really, really appreciate it. Also, take a second to check us out on Facebook and Instagram, Elite Motocast, Peabody, Massachusetts. We would also really, really appreciate it. And to all the new subscribers, thank you so much. So let's take a little quick test drive here. She actually runs very nice. Um, don't know if you can hear it. The exhaust is a bit loud, so probably could use a new exhaust system. Also, it has a little bit of a hesitation. Uh, probably could need a good tune-up. I think the car's been sitting for the last three or four years at least. And also, as you can see, she definitely needs a front end alignment. Brakes are nice in this car. The pedal is very high, which is... A lot of times you see these cars with low brake pedals, the brakes are working beautifully in this one like they're supposed to. Stops really nicely. The horn works and everything. It's got the nice trumpet horn there. Just a nice driving car. Super, super comfy also. So as I said earlier, this is basically as I consider this car, this is a uh, drivable restoration. It definitely needs cosmetics, but you can do a little bit at a time and enjoy the car at the same time. And this one does have all the options you could possibly ask for. It's got the Bose sound system. It's got the 
the chlorine suspension. It's got that rattle that would drive me nuts. It's got the, um, what do you call it? Power mirrors, the digital dashboard, which I absolutely love. It's got the Twilight Sentinel and auto dimming and power mirror on this side. It also has on the passenger seat, the power recliner, another option. And then let's not forget about this one here. The electronic rear view mirror. The electronic rear view mirror was first offered in 1985. So it was a brand new option at the time. Also, just like the uh, glass plastic windshield. So let's find a good little place to park her and let you guys check out the passenger side and show you guys all the little imperfections. Whisper Quiet 4100 V8. Super clean engine compartment. Brand new battery. People like to say things about the 4100s. I love the 4100s. I've had 4100 Cadillacs since 1993, and I think out uh, of the hundreds or so that I've had over the years, the last time I had an issue with one was in 1997. This one is whisper quiet, and this 4100 sounds beautiful. On this one, well, that, well, you guys hear it does have that exhaust leak. I don't know if you can hear it there, so probably could use an exhaust. Shut her down so you guys can all hear me a little better here. Open up the trunk, and as normal with all these old Cadillacs, especially the Seville's, the trunks don't stay up. This one needs new pistons. That's why I'm opening it with the key here. It does have the power release in the glove box there, also. There she is with the original mat. Decent sized trunk, definitely. It does have the little miniature spear there. Also has the power pull down for the trunk as well. It works beautifully as you can see. Very nice. This side's nice and straight and original. Now let me show you guys one of the prettiest parts about these cars, these interiors are absolutely gorgeous. This one does have a weather driver's seat, but other than that, the interior is actually very nice in this one. As you can see, the dash pad does have the normal 80s crack in there. Steering wheels in pretty nice condition overall. The rugs are very nice in the car. As you can see, this seat is worn. I think this car spent some time down in Florida. So that seat definitely needs to be at least the bottom to be recovered on it. But look at the white with the blue. Absolutely stunning. And then it transfers right over to the doors. Door panel is in great condition. Has the nice rear bow speakers in the doors. Very nice. And if you look at the bottom of the doors of these car, this car particularly, it has no rust absolutely beautiful and that's such a big deal in these 80s Cadillacs back seat is in very nice condition except the seams up there are split other than that very nice condition door panel exceptional as well and the bottom of this door is beautiful just like the rest of them This seat's in nice condition. This is the one that has the power recliner. Recliner. Seat's in nice condition, but it's got this weird mark there of wear and tear. I don't quite understand how that got there, but it's there. Like every other Cadillac these days, it definitely needs a headliner. And the sun visors, I got them held up, but they like to fall down. Also, this door only opens from the inside. Something's going on with this outside handle here. Very nice. Very clean. Almost forgot to show you guys this door panel. 
can't forget that. Very nice as well. The nice Bose speakers. Nice and beautiful rust free doors. Doors shut beautifully. This car, the tires on this car, I would say the backs are pretty old. I definitely replaced the backs. The fronts look pretty good. Um, if it was my car personally, I'd probably do all four tires. Um, the best tire you could buy for these cars right now with the best quality white wall that will match exactly what these cars came with from the factory. And believe it or not, that size white wall is exactly what these cars came with from the factory. In 1984, they had the wide white wall, but 1984 was the last year of the wide white wall. And when 1985 came around, Cadillac went with the standard size white wall. And Hancock puts out a great white wall. It's called the um, Hancock Optimus. The nice thing about the Hancocks is the white walls actually last and they don't turn yellow overnight. This one, before I forget to mention, the air conditioner does work on this one, it does cycle, it just needs a good charge. But it does cycle, the compressor's good, it just needs a charge. The chrome on this car is pretty good, it could use a good polish as you can see. It does have the nice gold emblem there. This bezel does have some damage, as you can see. The paint on the car, pretty sure this car spent a good amount of time in Florida. It's pretty well baked, um, it's checked and baked throughout. So it definitely needs a coat of paint. As you can see, missing the emblem right there. And there's a very nice condition as well. Except for right here, it's dented and the antenna's broken. Pillars are nice and solid. This door's in very nice condition, as you can see. This one's also in very nice condition. It does have a few I don't know if you can see a few light dents right here in the roof. It's very odd. I'm trying to show them as best I can right there, right there. Very odd. All the chrome trim is in very nice condition. Kind of a couple of pits there, but overall in very nice condition. Very straight, clean car. Chrome is in nice condition. TLA to have the nice gold emblem inside them. Those are exclusive to commemorative edition only. Also the emblem back here. The silver with the gold. It does have this nice 1990s um, some sort of antenna. You could take that off if you decide to. It does have some chipping down here in the paint. And the only dent on the car really is at the bottom of this door. I think I'm showing it the best I can. So I'm just gonna need a little bodywork right there. All the stainless trim is actually in really nice condition on this car. It does have one little mark of surface rust right there. And that's about it. So all in all, it's a beautiful drivable restoration definitely needs paint and you definitely get to do a little interior work but a nice nice solid example let me see if I can uh, show you guys a bit of the undercarriage because the undercarriage is really clean before I forget I took some pictures but let me see if I can get the undercarriage I don't know if I'm getting it that well with the video here I'm trying to show you well, that's the best I can do with the undercarriage is very very clean on this car very clean So again, she's a 1985 Cadillac Seville, commemorative edition, finished in Chromador Blue. She has 53,000 original miles. She's cosmetically challenged. She at least needs a paint job to start. She could be really priced affordably for everybody to be able to afford. So if you want a Bustleback Seville, you want one that you really hardly ever see, this is the car. We will be asking $39.95 for this beautiful Cadillac Seville. My name is George. You're welcome to give me a call at 978-590-0014. Again, thank you for watching our videos and have a great day.